Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This is the third video I've done so far. I hope you enjoyed the first two. This one's going to have a little bit of a different format. I'm not just going to be sat here doing pickups. I'm going to talk to you about what I got up to over the weekend. I went to Video Game Market 3 up at Doncaster. Brilliant event, organised by Retro Collect. Super, met some really nice people. I travelled up there with my friend Ant Harper uh, from uh, RetroGamesCollector.com and we had a stall with the guys and gals from uh, Retro Collective Europe. It was a really, really good day. I wish I'd have had more time to talk to everyone, but literally when we were selling things come 10 o'clock, the room was heaving and it didn't really die off till the back end of the day. Um, I've had a couple of shout outs from fellow YouTubers who I spoke to on the day. Uh, two to UK, really nice bloke. He came up and spoke to me twice, he didn't realise who I was. But, you know, I've done two videos, I don't expect to be recognised from YouTube anyway. But no, he was a really great guy. He come talk to me about this Turbo Express box that I've got. It's really minty condition, but unfortunately there's no console in it. I think if I'd got the console in it, it, it wouldn't have even gone there to be in my collection anyway. Um, and at the end of the day, Gross Newton was uh, wandering around. He was doing some video in for his channel, which, to be fair, between four and five was the only time anyone had any chance to get any footage, really, because you wouldn't, you wouldn't have video nothing during the day. There was that many people in there. But uh, as he come past, I said, oh, I'll catch that on your channel later. And he, to be fair, he's given me some airtime on his channel when I'm just talking about here. And I, I think that's superb. The two YouTube guys who I saw during the day and spoke to were bang on. And I think that's what YouTube's all about, really. You know, we're all interested in the same thing. If I can send someone to subscribe to their channel and they can do it to me and someone's interested in it, then brilliant. That, that, that's what YouTube's all about, especially in the gaming world, really. So thanks again, guys. Much appreciated. All their websites will be linked below, so if you want to go and follow their channels and things, go ahead. They're, they're really good videos. I mean, I enjoy watching them myself. Have a little chat in the comments. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. Um, so as I say, come 10 o'clock, the market started, and I was just selling up stuff that I'd bought previously in an auction close to home. Um, managed to get some more space in the games room so there may be a chance of doing a tour of it at some point at the moment it's still a bit too much of a mess for me to want to show you guys around here but really good as I say the guys from Retro Collective Europe we had some really good banter even though we didn't get to talk much uh, I'm sure I've still got all the elastic bands in my boxes of stuff that they kept shooting down at me and I kept shooting back at them but uh, I wish we could have just well I'm not don't wish we could have stayed in the hotel room because it sounded like it was an absolute nightmare where they stayed but I should have had more time to sit down and have a chat with them. Obviously, I spoke to the people like Ant Harper, who was next to me. He was on the same table as me because we'd gone up together. And uh, a lad called Jamu, who was on the next table with us. I got to have a bit of a chat with him when he was there because he, he was literally buying stuff at, as quick as he was selling stuff. He was so happy with some of the stuff he picked up. It was really, really good to see. Um, but he was top lad. I mean, I did have a few pickups during the day. I'll just show you them now. But literally the only dealings I did with were the table behind me and the table next to me because that's as far as I really went uh, first thing I picked up was from a, a table behind me which I went all the way up to Doncaster and the guys on the table behind me live less than two miles away from my house back home in the West Midlands like um, I don't know if you follow me on Instagram but I picked up a, a Pearl GameCube recently and I haven't got one of the controllers for it and these lads were selling a complete collection of GameCube stuff so luckily they had one of these Pearl controllers they did it me for a tenner so now my collection looks good I've got like the same colour uh, GameCube and controller now so I'm really happy with that I'm gutted I never swapped uh, with Jamu earlier in the day I'd forgot he'd asked me from, for some Saturn controllers and I took a box full up and it was halfway through the day when he remembered and I remembered and earlier in the day he got a copy of Mega Man 1 on the NES and I wanted that and we could have done a bit of a trade but obviously I missed that boat so we saw it out the controllers and I had these two games off him that I ain't got the first one's Book Bumble on the N64 I don't know much about the game I'll put it in and have a go but it's just a game I ain't got and believe it or not I ain't got Nintendo World Cup on the NES either I think he'd pick this up during the day because he wanted the box and instructions so we swapped that and the last thing I picked up was a freebie off my mate Ant who got the store all day long everyone come asking about this game and he was saying he was selling it for this much and it didn't sell and I kept saying oh if that doesn't sell I'll have that I'd like to play that game 
And he just kept saying, have it, have it. And I was like, no, nah, no, nah, it's fine, it's fine. And in the end, I ended up having it. And I've had a blast on it. It's one of the weirdest, strangest games I've ever played, but I really enjoyed. And that's We Love Katamari. If you ever get a chance to play it. it it's strange. The music's off his head. But it's a fun game to play. And I must admit, I've banged my PlayStation 2 up and I've enjoyed having a go on it. So it's really fun. So if you get a chance to pick up a copy for the right price, I suggest you pick it up. It's, it's really good. Um, as I say, I had a really great time up at Doncaster. Tooty keeps mentioning on his channel that he, he feels bad about not talking to me, but I'm not the sort of person who, who thinks like, because I've made a couple of videos, or any videos really, that, you know, oh, someone should recognise me. And I was a bit, not shy, but I didn't want to be that one of them people who's a bit creepy and weird and say, oh, I recognise you from YouTube, oh, brilliant. But he does do a great channel, same with Gross Newton. Um, my friend Ant recognised uh, Conus Dolores. I hope I've got that right. I'm really bad at pronouncing names that aren't standard, really. Um, but I'd spotted him earlier in the day and I didn't say nothing. And my mate Ant went, oh, I recognise you off the channel. And he got a free game out of it. Brilliant. Uh, it was a Japanese PS2 game that Ant hadn't got, but he enjoyed playing. So that was great. But I always think if I can give anyone who's got a YouTube channel or a podcast like my mate's at um, Nintendo Pals time on here, and someone goes over there and subscribes and enjoy it and I'll link that up. I think that's brilliant. And I think everyone who does U UK YouTubing is pretty much like that. It's not cutthroat, it's not like oh don't go and watch him, don't go and watch that. I think it's brilliant. Sorry to nick your idea by the way, too, to of having a cup of tea, but it helps me pace myself, I think, when I'm doing this and I've gone on Street Fighter 2 mugs so I'll watch show it to everyone. So as I say, I've got some space now in the games room and I went a whole two days without going and picking anything up but uh, on Spock someone who I bought the GameCube and uh, N64 controller off recently they put another ad up saying they were selling some stuff so I looked, said look I'll take the lot rather than leave you with the rubbish stuff you'll never sell I'll take it as well as the good stuff I paid £15 for this lot first four games I'm going to show you I haven't got the disc in they're just box and manual so hopefully throughout the year I'll be able to pick up the games. The GameCube games, there's House of the Dead too. I did have this when I had my GameCube originally with a light gun. Brilliant game to play. Soul Fighter, which is a game I don't know too much about, but uh, looks pretty cool, so hopefully I'll find the disc somewhere. Sonic Adventure, which I've already got a copy of, but this case is my original case. It's a bit battered. I swapped it out for the one that I traded off them. And Tokyo Highway Challenge looks like looks a bit like Gran Turismo now. Looking at the stuff on the back, so maybe it's a good game. I've not had a chance to blast it on yet. Um, there's three PlayStation One games, well four if you include it being a double pack. There's uh, Donald Duck's Quack Attack, and it's Tigger Tiggerific Good Time. I probably won't be playing these. I'll be being moved on. To be fair, but. As I say, I didn't want to just take all the good stuff and leave the guy with nothing else to sell. Colin McRae Rally, which I know I've got, as well as V Rally. I mean, I remember playing these when they first came out, and I thought they were brilliant. They're not. Whether I feel the same now when I bang them on, I'm not too sure. There was a couple of GameCube titles. Burnout, which it says charity pack, not for resale. So if anyone knows what that means, please let me know, because... I'm not too sure, I wasn't into the Xbox when the Xbox first came out. And Batman Vengeance. Uh, this looks like based on the Warner Brothers animated series. Now I know there is a good game of that, but whether it's this one, I can't remember. So I'll have to give it a blast. A couple of PS2 games, Time Splitters 2. I think I've got a copy of this. So He'll probably get towards the next time I do a market, which will probably be Retro Revival in July at the Vescott Stadium in uh, Warsaw in the West Midlands, if any of you guys want to head on down here. Um, and the other PS2 title is Final Fantasy X2. I'm sure I've got a copy of this, but I think it's the Platinum version, and I've got a bit of OCD. I'd rather have the Black Label title than the Platinum. I know it sounds a bit weird, so that's just the way I am, so I'll probably trade the other one out. And the other three games that i got, they are Dreamcast games and they're all boxed and complete. Virtua Fighter 3. 
I think I had this as well when I originally had my Dreamcast, so I'll have a go on it. I like fighting games, as you can see, Street Fighter in the background. This was the one I was most interested in, Resident Evil, Code Veronica. Now, I know I've got this on the PS2, but I do like Resident Evil games, so if I can get them on any format, I'll pick them up like. And Jimmy White 2, Cue Ball. I vaguely remember playing a Jimmy White game before. I used to play a lot of Cool and Snoopy games with my brother and my manager when I used to work at a ledger centre. To be fair, we used to take my old PlayStation 1 in and play some Snoop and Phil games. So uh, That's all my pickups. As I say, this video is a little bit different format. I have got some time-lapse footage from Doncaster, but it's on the way in the post, believe it or not. I lost the SD card during the day and look, I don't know how but Adam from Retro Collect thank you very much he somehow found it put it into his computer saw that me and Ant Harper was on it he messaged Ant saying I think this is your footage and I was like oh that's my SD card brilliant I can put the time lapse footage on my YouTube channel so I messaged him so it's a bit out of sync really I wanted to put that footage on first then this video so it's kind of dictated how I've done things but uh, it should look good, hopefully. Um, Ant's going to feature it, do a bit of editing so he can have it on his. And I also tell the guys at Retro Collect Adam, I said, look, if you want to use it for anything, use it. You know, I filmed about three hours time lapse, so it'll look pretty good. Uh, I'll put some music in the background and that. Um, so I think that's everything, really. As I say, I'll, I'll add Gross Newton's uh, YouTube channel at the bottom. Two to UK, your channel will be added at the bottom. If I can give you guys a couple of subscribers of people who watch mine, brilliant. Because the content you do is really bang on. I really enjoy watching your channel. So you guys keep up the good work. Oh, I nearly forgot. How cool is this? The guys at Retro Collective Europe got us all some stickers. I love stickers. When I was a kid, I used to collect them. So I don't know why I'll put them on yet. But no, no doubt. I might even put some on some games next time I sell them. So like, you know, keep your eye out if you're buying games off me at the next market. I might have stuck a sticker it in your case somewhere. I won't stick it somewhere you can't get the labels off. Um, but yeah, great time up at the Doncaster Dome. Brilliant venue. Brilliant bunch of guys who organised it. Can't wait to go back next year. Um, that's all I've got to say really. I mean, I've been to these events as a buyer. But I think as a seller you get to appreciate them a bit more and the, the work that everyone puts in. I mean, me and Ant were up at five. We didn't get home till nine on the night because we had a two hour drive from the Midlands up to Doncaster. And it was really nice that the guys of Retro Collect kept running around, like they were just running past saying everything okay, everything fine. And it weren't like a case of here's your store, leave your fight for yourself. That they were really good like that and I can't praise them enough. And if any of you guys ever get a chance to get to one of their events again, go to it. And don't be afraid, I know next time if I see a YouTuber I'm gonna say hi alright and have a bit of a chat because that's the one thing I regret from there. I wish I'd have had a bit of a chat with two to bit more of a chat with Gross and stuff like that but uh, brilliant um, if you like my video don't forget to subscribe like and share it if you want you can do whatever you want really comment I like the comments if you comment I can have a bit of a chat with you I do try and get back to everyone and also if you want me to have a look at one of your YouTube channels I will always look at someone's channel who subscribes to me because I think it's good karma and if I like your content I'll subscribe I haven't come across anyone who's done a gaming video that I haven't liked to be fair so please I say like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.